You see, we have a slogan here at Villanova, and that is, dare to be different. Try to do something that's just a little bit different than what everybody else does. That's it. Villanova has done it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why they play the game and not just talk about them the day before. An improbable team when this tournament started in the biggest deal of all time, 64 teams. The Villanova Wildcats will now go down in history as the big shocking upset winners in the NCAA Championship Tournament. Villanova did the impossible. They beat Georgetown. But this is what makes college basketball the great game that it is. It was a sensational performance by a gritty bunch of kids. And the Villanova Wildcats avoided a series of minefields to win this championship, starting with Dayton on the road. And then they beat Michigan, the top-seeded team in the Southeast. And Rolly Massimino brought his team against the toughest competition you can imagine. He beat North Carolina, came to Lexington, and beat Memphis State, and of course, Georgetown, the top-seeded team, and Rolly's got a title. Well, no one thought we could do it, but I did, and so did they. They played a great basketball game. We just believed in ourselves and a lot of hard work on everybody's part. Not only a team, but, you know, the fans, they were all behind us. And they did it. The Villanova Wildcats are champions. The 1985 NCAA title at Raleigh. Oh, Nobody thought they could do it. No, no one thought we could do it, but I did. And so did they. They played a great basketball game. God was with us, and I love my mother and brother. I got to tell them, this is the greatest thing that happened to me. Villanova probably epitomized the Cinderella story as well as any team that's been in the NCAA tournament for quite some time, and that includes North Carolina State because they were never favored in any game. For Villanova, the 1984-85 regular season had been unspectacular at best. Massimino had seen a fast start degenerate into a series of puzzling losses, primarily to other teams from the Big East. The low point? A regular season ending 23-point embarrassment against Pittsburgh. On they went to the NCAA tournament. Harold Jensen, Ed Pinckney, Harold Presley, Dwight Wilbur, Gary and Dwayne McLean. Down they went, one by one. Dayton, Michigan, Maryland, North Carolina. Memphis State. All that remained was Patrick Ewing, the Georgetown Hoyas, the championship game. It was time for Villanova to once again do the Big Five proud. It was time to make memories that will never fade. We had been beaten by 20-some in our final game of the year but they still all pulled together and grew together and worked together. I kind of felt that once we beat Memphis State, uh, destiny was in order. And I thought that we had a tremendous opportunity and chance to, to, to beat Georgetown only because we played them twice during the year uh, to very close games. Uh, we didn't make any gigantic X's and O changes uh, as much as a commitment to something that was so special. And I think probably the ultimate line was that we played the game to win instead of playing not to lose. It's really a pleasure and an honor for me and our team to be the next.